WSNN, the Weather Sports News Network. Today we are tackling the leg problem with Flint, Michigan. For more information, on to reporter Ferguson. A wonderful introduction, news anchor Zakian. Today we are interviewing Ariana Hunt from Michigan Flint. Hello. Conditions here in Flint are dropping ever since we changed our water source to Flint River, which contains high amounts of lead. Tell me, Ariana, why did your government do this? They did it to save money. In fact, 40,000 people in Flint are poor, and ever since I've been using bottled water on everything, including giving my two-year-old son a bath. That's horrible. We have to do something about bringing awareness to lead poisoning. Do you have any final words to say? Um, I hope this never happens to any other city, and this will bring awareness to Flint situation. Thank you for your time. Now, back to news anchor Zakian. Information. Conditions in Flint have gotten out of hand. President Barack Obama has declared an emergency. He has ordered the national government to help with the situation. For more information, on to our reporter. Thank you for that information. Today we are interviewing our expert on lead poisoning, Dr. Oakley. I am very torn up about this recent lead poisoning in Flint's waters, but I am glad it came to a stop and I can help the poison people of Flint. How do you feel about all the children that had to go through this rough time in sickness? I felt very bad for all of the children that had to go through this rough sickness. What can people do in Flint's community to help stop this problem? Buildings and schools can replace lead pipes with plumbing containers and only use tap water for drinking, cooking, and making baby formula. Thank you for your help. We are very grateful to have you as a doctor. You have gave people in Flint hope and changed hundreds of lives. Do you have any final words to say or advice to give? I hope this never happens to any other establishments and hopefully lead poisoning has came to a stop. Thank you. I know this is very hard for you. Now, back to wrap it up to News Anchor Zakir. Now that we have solved the water crisis in Flint and put awareness out into the world, I hope we can solve Earth's other water crisis. Soon, bye, and thank you for choosing WSNN. <laughs>